Hello and welcome to this video. How are you taking a look at this? The Batchman Class 170. A model which I've actually got in the box at the moment, so we can unpackage it. So, this is the slide, about the product card information stuff. Uh, the problem with this, I think, is if you look at the picture there, which comes with the product by Mr. Chris Hopkins. The picture has got it's in where the train's in non multi mode, so it can't couple to another train. As you can see, the stick then has got bag over the coupler. Which to me, I think that's the best way to sell a product saying it can't be coupled. <laughs> no, I don't know that. You know, there it is, class 170 6 free car DMU. I did do this in a two car version, but I prefer longer trains, so what the free car version? Get the brief history as with most Batchman model trains, and it does look quite good. Well, I like the blank diagram they put there of the, how the train looks spread out. I have read the information before, and I'm not going to really look at it right now. So here we are. First bit I've got here. And that's a car, a end car. Now with this, I DCC the motor car, but not the ends because you'd have to get three DCC chips, and they're not that cheap DCC chips. So the lights on, analog, and the motors on. Uh, DCC which isn't the best thing, but it's so can have my class one six eight at the same time as this. I should probably show you in a bit actually. I'll put the class one six eight on the top as well. Which I'll show you in the video. That has been DCCs now. When I did the original was on analog. So anyway, here's the motor car. It is quite heavy. You might be able to see the DCC wires. The motor's just at one end. Well, the motor's in the centre of the train around there, the bird. And uh, the chips over there. There's basically when this is here, there's a wire running down to each set of reels, and there's also a two wires going to the motor. So you've got six wires in total to wire up, and there is a board in it which you have to take off because that's got some um, capacitors and stuff on it. Right, and then we've got oh, the box down there. Just have a look at the back of it. Official model information. Not really that necessary for me though. And here we find Ugh, this one's a bit hard. Never been that hard before. There we go. The other end, I'll show you this end so you can see. This is today. Get it. Let's try getting my light in the. See if you can see the number. There we go. Or maybe. Anyway, if you can't see it, it says 170637. As I said, the lights haven't got DCC. Uh, but. I might do in the future, it just depends. So there's Central Trains website, which I think I said before, redirects you to London Midlands website now. Really nice, because you can see all the seats and tables, uh, it's just amazing this train. So here, yeah, you've got the Gang Range, you've got the warning stickers, and also uh, there it tells you the specimens of the train which most I think all trains have that one like <laughs> why using this train the class 153 it's got them if I can find them quickly yep where is it some rail one here there just happened from the front because I think they have to keep oh they have it on the front as well no that was the <laughs> that's the door button open I was looking at that's no, just there on the front But it's only on the one side, so. I would like to be able to couple this to um, 
a class 170 or class 150 probably be more likely the class 170 but I don't think I've got the option to put this in multiple which probably explains the picture to some extent <laughs> just this hasn't got the on multi stick in the window but you could probably attach your own I can't seem to find a place where you could easily slot one in so you'd probably have to add your own socket for it to go in if I get the rail onto the truck and I can get the train off the truck, it's on the middle loop. So here you go. Carriage one. That one. Yep. Yeah. There's the wind. Quite strange on these trains, I think. Yeah. And last of all, ooh. <laughs> oh, it's gonna... I think. There we go. And number three. Make that longer bit. we go. Take the rail off and I'm going to give it some cupboard tools, I'm going to put the boxes away as <laughs> turn the camera, they're piled up there now, so I'm just going to put those boxes away and we'll see the train running just after that, so here's the next part. Right, so here we are, I've now put the plus 168 on as well, unfortunately this train is going to feel really left out soon because it's in short hours old livery and as you might know short railways are relivering all their trains into their silver livery so this train misses out i'd like to factor and made the new model and with the silver livery even the four car version of this because these trains are just really good the different main difference i can notice between the class 168 and 170 is that you can quite see See, you can see the stairs are different to get onto the train because here it's stairs where hanging, but on here they're part of the what do you call it? Not buffer <laughs> protection barrier. <coughs> so, um, I'll get this one moving and then I'll put this one on as well. Well, it is on, but I'll get it moving and we'll see how the trains run. So this is number 13 in my coding system and this is number 21. Of course I'm not doing the children ones the main part of this review, I've done it before. But just to point out on the children ones, I think I didn't notice before. Oh hang on. Haha. <laughs> no, never mind. Yeah. Doesn't matter now. I it's okay anyway I'll uh, get it running so the lights will just be stuck to whatever they're on so I'm just going to do a quick check to make sure all the junctions are straight and they seem to be yep so let's get number 13 running might be unlucky but it's it's code there we go not the fastest train in the world but it is a really nice addition because basically what's been happening is I've been buying too many and there's loads of high speed trains so I just yeah you know, I've got four HSTs and it's bad we've got four minute trains it's from the east coast an old British and this virgin one the only problem is with the cross country ones and the, the rear lights on the do mean it can't work in so after that you can do a video on that one. So I'll get the Chilton one going now and I'll put the center planes on the high speeds. Yeah. Yeah, so 
Yeah, that actually sounds really good. Just a second. Right, so there we go. That was the Central Train Pass 170. It is quite noisy whilst it's been running, as you've probably heard on the camera. But it is a very nice train. Chiltern Airshow isn't going quite as fast, you know, it's on full speed. It might be because the power is on this track. Probably a way to find that, actually. If I... Sorry. Right, I actually pause this. <laughs> Oh, so I'm not quite sure why the children are smoking, but then we are looking at the central trains one for this video. So, it is really good. And central trains are my favourite company, as you probably know, of Russ, when he was around. So I really like this train. I'll have to look inside the children and try and see if I can find anything wrong with it, of course. But, um, that's the central trains one, so thanks for watching. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye. Well. That well, sounds like a strange bite to you on, so let's take a two on by. Bye. No. <laughs> Million ways you can say bye, and I keep on doing them which don't sound too good, so. How can we end this? I don't know. <laughs> let's do it to the classic way. I've got a new ending part now, my video, as you've probably noticed. Now I've got the class 67. Going forwards, then reversing backwards, while well, finishing the static image. So, we can just go in with the. There it is. So, time to go a bit classic. So, for now, goodbye.